the Swansons. This is Vinaya. This is Ken. And we have five boys. The first one is Alexander. He's nine. And there's Dawson, who is age eight. <laughs> Mike is five. And Brendan's four. Christian is three. Vinaya and I, we fight, and we have a divorce pending. But I could care less, Vinaya. Look at me, please. Okay. No, I don't. come here. Together, we own the taxi service. Having five boys, there just is never enough time to get everything done and take care of your family the way you should. The boys runs his house. In. Sit up now. Parenting styles, we are completely the opposite. I love you. No, I don't want to pick you up. Ken is way too hard on the kids, especially with Alexander and Dawson. You know we're talking. You don't need to interrupt us. I really set in our ways because I don't feel she punishes enough. You need to find something else to do and not, please don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. I feel like I've had to choose between the children and my husband and it just, it tears me apart. I feel like I shouldn't have to do that. It's been difficult. Super Danny, we need you to come and help us save our marriage. I don't want a divorce, kid. And bring us together as parents, as a team, for the first time in our lives. There's no point of us going through this if Alexander and Dawson aren't gonna be how they are either, Vinaya. You're right, it goes both ways, Ken. Super Nanny, we need you now. We can't wait any longer. Hey guys, I'm on my way and we're gonna sort this out. to my children. Hi, pleased to meet you. Hi, Joe, I'm Ken. Hi, Ken. It's an honor to have you here. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is... <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. I mean... Oh, I'm here. I'm here to help. So, you know, that's exactly what we're going to do, OK? Thank you. You're more than welcome. When Joe walked through the door, I said, don't cry. Don't cry. And two seconds later, I'm crying. This is my guy's a little bit bashful. This one is Brendan. Brendan, hi, Brendan. And hi, Christian. Hello, pleased to meet you. Oh, who's off? This is Super Nanny. I am. What's your name? Dawson. Hi, Dawson, pleased to meet you. Hi, Alex, pleased to meet you, Joe. I'll catch up with you guys later, OK? Yes. See you then. All right, I'm going, guys. Oh. Just minutes after I met the family, Dad went off on his taxi runs and left Mum to deal with the taxi phones and all the kids. Get inside. As expected, the taxi phones started to ring and Mum was struggling to juggle with answering those and dealing with the kids. I mean, it's a challenging task. He was just too busy on the phone to deal with what's going on. Find something else to do. Vanaya's in a circus act. She's juggling balls left, right, and center. It's Vanaya, how are you? <laughs> when it did finally quieten down, Vanaya started to talk to me about Ken and his relationship with her two eldest boys from a previous marriage, Alex and Dawson, and how it's really affecting her relationship. I filed for a divorce six months ago. Ken has no emotional ties with Alexander and Dawson, and I keep trying to bring Alexander, Dawson, and Ken together. What is it that ultimately breaks your heart, truthfully? 
because I just feel like the kids to just deserve something better. Having a divorce over your head, for me, it was like I was barely able to tread water, and I've got all five of my kids and my wife trying to pull me under. So exactly how long have you guys been living in the same space with this energy between the pair of you? Five years. Within a couple months after we got together. I get overwhelmed. I mean, I'm not going to lie. And it's easier for me just, uh, all right, nobody gets any more fun time. You know, go to your bedrooms, just get out of my sight. They behave like they're divorced already. I mean, the negative energy in this house has really started to show. It is going to be a challenge, it really is, to turn this family around. All right. You got Dan. Later on, it was switch off time, and Vanaya was going off to work, and Dad was supposed to be looking after the kids. With Ken focusing on the computer and the younger ones doing their own thing, it was a great opportunity for me to sit down and speak to Alex. So who did all of this? Dawson. If one of your brothers breaks something that belongs to you, how does that make you feel? It mostly makes me feel angry and sad. So what do you do I mean, when you get really angry because somebody's broken one of your toys? What's the first thing you go and do? Almost so I say, um, I'm going to get you in this dirt. I let him get off of the head stir, and then I get him. Do you have to hide your things so that your brothers don't break them? Yeah. Whose things do you break? Um, almost everyone's except for my parents. As you can see, none of the siblings have respect for each other's belongings, and that really does need to be corrected as soon as possible. outside for just a little bit, guys. Let's get our shoes on first, OK? About time we got out and got some fresh air. Been in all day. <laughs> Alex, let him do it. Alex! OK, look at me. Look at me. Alex, no. Get down, please. The kids were just playing around, and there it was. Ken picking holes in Alex. Alex, let him have it, please. Alexander knows how to push my buttons. It can take him maybe 10 seconds in the max to make me go from calm to, damn it, that's it. Vinaya had already told me that the way Ken treated Alex and Dawson from a previous marriage was one of the reasons that she was filing for divorce. <laughs> Ken. Yes. I wanted to find out how the threat of divorce was really affecting Ken. Your wife has mentioned a divorce. It's a hard thing to have over your head. I'm sick almost every morning just thinking about it. Do you feel like you're walking on eggshells? Yes. I need Vinaya to see it through my eyes and understand how I'm feeling. Daddy, wait! The minute Mum got home, Dad was gone. All right, I got to run. Never mind these parents not being on the same page. These parents ain't even in the same place at the same time. <laughs> Ken came home at the end of the day, and there was still that tense feeling in the air. And once again, there was no communication between the pair of them. I mean, what's up? Yeah, we're having root beer floats. You're having root beer floats? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What do you tell Mama? Thank you, Mama. All right. So what does Ken kind of do when he gets home? Um, he usually goes to the bedroom and watches TV and goes on the computer. I am usually cleaning up getting everything ready for the next day, making lists, getting the kids ready for bed. This is the first time that Mum and Dad have been in the house at the same time, and they're still not talking to one another. This is ridiculous. Do you guys eat together at all, or...? Um, not usually. It was a long day, and quite frankly, I've seen enough. And I know that I need to speak to Vanaya and Ken pronto. You do have five beautiful children, and you are both very blessed. But 
the pair of you are in a very desperate situation right now. Your kids are caught in the middle of this and they're helpless. And you're blaming them for the reason why you may get a divorce. I'm going to stand very firmly here and represent your children because they don't have a voice, unfortunately. So let's talk about it. Are you ready for this? Yes. Yes. The pair of you tag team. It's like clocking in and clocking out. Why have you chose to do that rather than to parent together? Because we can't agree on how to parent our kids. I just feel that a lot of things that happen, she just lets them slide. I try to go to Ken, and when I do, I feel like he doesn't listen to me. So I got to a point where I don't even want to discuss it with him. But what's happening here is that the pair of you are pointing at one another instead of taking the responsibility together, because you continue to still go over the same ground and have the same results time and time again. I mean, I love my kids. I really do. It's almost like, you know, if one or two of them turn out right, you know, and the other three, you know, are don't hate you for the rest of your lives because of things you've done or things you've said. I haven't done the right things, and I know that. I keep thinking that maybe tomorrow will be a better day. Maybe the next one could turn out right. I find that unbelievable, Ken. I find that unbelievable that you have the audacity to say, I hope the next kid will turn out all right. How dare you blame your children for the way that they are when all they want to do is to please and to be accepted? Where's the relationship between you and Alex, Ken? It's hard to want to spend time with someone who, who will, you know, who I feel doesn't respect me who doesn't want to listen, who doesn't want to follow directions. Why is he paying the price for that, Ken? And what support is he receiving from you and from his mother here? He needs you on his side. Do you want to be together as a family? Yes. yes. Are you both ready for some hard work? Because it's not going to be easy. Absolutely. Yes? Yes. yes. All right. So. Let's get started straight away. OK. Kenneth and I are absolute that they want to remain together, so I want to be able to give them positive written affirmation that will hold their commitment and make their marriage work. OK. What we are about to do now is to move on. Step one was for Ken and Vanaya to really air their issues that had been holding them back for so long. OK. Use this space here. I'm done. Good. Kim? It's a good start. Yeah, great. OK, let's go into the other room. So once they had both finished, which didn't take them long, I then took them into the bedroom so they could air their grievances out of earshot from the kids. Mum, I'd like you to read off what's on your paper. Anger, frustration, lack of commitment, lack of trust, lack of understanding, lack of patience, and no goals for the family. Dad, read off what's on your paper. I wrote pride, my unrealistic expectations, stress, the power games with the children, and the competitiveness. You ready to turn in your corner? Yes. Yeah? OK. And step three, really, was to allow them both to let go of everything that was negative and not allowing them to move forward together. I'd like you to walk out of this room together and take this into the living room because you're going to burn those pieces of paper and you're going to let go. You ready to do that together? Yes. Yeah, take this then. It felt very good to be able to burn the papers because it's giving us a better foot forward. Because where are we going? Forward. Where are we going? We're going, We're going forward. forward. All right. 
Finally, I had mum and dad sign an unorthodox contract that would allow them to move forward and not back. There it is. Let's do it. This is a start of a brand new beginning for them. Mom, are you glad that we're doing this? I'm excited, yes. Are you happy? I am. This is a new start for us, all of us, our whole family. The reason why we're doing this is so my mom won't divorce my dad, so that way we will be broken apart and we won't have a nice family. There we go. All right. It's up. Good stuff. Boys, can you just come all around here for a minute? Because I want to talk to you about something else we're going to do now. Yeah, what? With Mum and Dad well on the way, I thought it was time to really work with the boys. And I wanted to introduce a technique so that they could start to trust and respect each other's belongings. Each child is going to find something very special and then you're going to choose a brother to look after it for three days. Without getting it ruined or Correct. broken? Correct. So let's start that then. Let's go and have a look in our rooms and find something. Mum and Dad helped the younger ones. Once each boy had their toy in hand, we moved outside so that I could see who they were going to entrust their toy with. Alex, you start first. However, what unfolded was that they weren't ready. And I'm going to want Mom to hold on to it and take care of it for three days. I want Mom to take care of it. You don't. Me? It was really telling because none of the boys trusted each other. And they all gave their toys to Mum and Dad, apart from one, Brandon. He really got the ball rolling. Alex. OK, I will do that. Brandon picked me to hold his toy for three days because he trusted me, he believed in me. He actually picked me. After Brandon had given his toy to Alex, the other boys realised that they would have to trust one of their brothers to give their toy to. I'm going to choose Christian to hold on to this. Out of all the kids Alexander could have chose, he gave it to Christian, the three-year-old, which I thought was a major, major show of trust. OK, Micah. Oh, Micah. I'll take care of your thing. It's kind of cool. I told Micah to watch my dinosaur. Now watching this. Yeah, who's going to look after it? Which brother? OK, one of the boys. I'm not Brendan. <laughs> Brendan, OK. Good. Hey, Brendan. I am so curious to see how the boys will look after each other's stuff. <laughs> Ken's rocky relationship with Alex and Dawson has really brought a lot of tension in the house, so I think it's time for some good old-fashioned father and son bonding. We're going to work on one section of the car at a time, OK? Make sure we get the whole thing and make it look good and make it look nice. Come here, guys. I said we're going to work on one section. That means let's work on one side at a time. Now watch what I do so I know how the job's doing right. Dad needs a nudge and a push to really have fun with the boys. Dad? Yes. Oh, yeah. This is about you being a family man with your kids okay. and having a laugh doing this. This is not you and, and the workers. Joe pointed out that I was treating my older ones like employees. You know, I had to step back and realize I even treat my employees better than I treat my sons. <laughs> Dad, he had the hose, he put it in my shirt, and I got all wet. <laughs> Me and my dad, Dawson, were playing mechanics, and we had really good fun. It doesn't seem like work at all. We played, we goofed around. It's amazing how quickly you can get a lot of things accomplished. Maybe we should do that a lot more often. We should do a lot more often. You guys should make help. This was a huge improvement for Ken and the boys. These boys were totally psyched because they've not been used to having fun with their dad like this. Ken was doing really well with the boys, but I still felt that there were issues that needed to be addressed with Ken and Alex, and I wanted them to spend special time together with something that meant a lot to them both. I want him to have a special relationship with you because you're his dad. Yeah? Very good. <laughs> I just composed myself. There you go again. Oh, OK. I'm ready. The point of Dad sitting down with Alex is to show Alex that there are times when 
dad's judgment's been wrong and that he's human and he makes mistakes. I want to begin with this, I want to apologize because dad's made a lot of mistakes, a lot. I have a hard time looking Alex in the eye. That's because I am ashamed because of the way I've, some of the things I've done in the past. I haven't been the father that I should be or that I can be. You are a good kid. You're my son. And you're growing into a man right now. And I want to be there and I want to be your father. Today, we're starting, we're moving forward. And we're going to let go. You have asked me several times to teach you how to play the piano. And so we're going to have our first lesson today. OK? Okay. Dad about to apologize. I accept it. Thank you. I love you. Me too. Okay. I was one of the first times I had done that. I looked him in the eye, and I said, you know what? I want to start today by building a relationship with you. I want to have fun with you, and I want to enjoy spending time with you. First thing you need to do is yeah. I want you to sit up right at the piano, OK? This is good. Back straight. A, B, C, D. E, F, G. What do you think this one is? A. Very good. You know, in the alphabet, you know all the keys on the piano already. I was proud about the piano because when my dad taught me how to play the piano, it made me feel good. The piano is really great to play. You get to express your feelings. You want it to come from your, from your hands and your wrists, not from your body, because pretty soon your whole body is going to be moving back and forth on the bench, and you're going to get splinters in your butt. Ouch. <laughs> I'm teasing you. It's a hey. joke. OK? Let's try again. Let's play together. One, two, three, four, five. Not very good. It will come with it, because you've got to build up strength. Two, there you go. And now this the, one's hard. Yes, it is. Keep it bent, not straight. This is good. Yeah. This is great watching you. Alexander came out of the house after having played the piano with Ken. And his face was lit up. His eyes were bright and shining. He couldn't stop smiling. <laughs> I haven't seen Alexander's face light up like that in that years. What's going to happen today, Ken, is that you're going to coach <laughs> the boys, OK? Up until now, I hadn't seen this family spend any quality time together. So it was time for them to go and play some footy and enjoy it together as a family. All right, what team name should we come up with? Hi, Sonic. You want, who wants Sonny? Raise your hand. I do. You do? All right, we're Team Sonny. Good that's job. A great name. That field is half a block away from my house. And that's the first time that we've been in that field. Huh? Oh. Right. Good too. It was so important for Ken and Vanaya just to let their hair down and have some serious fun with the boys. So, what we need to do, let's line up. I want you guys to go and let's make a big circle. We're going to kick the ball to each other. We're going to practice our foot skills, OK? Go ahead. Kind of move in with the ball, OK? And then it'll go okay. forward. <laughs> Today, it's cooler. I go play soccer with my mom and dad at the park. It's real fun. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, 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 Go, go, go! We don't get to do a lot of stuff because my parents are really busy. I wish this happens a lot more often. This is the first time that I've seen you both in the same space with your kids getting both of you. Having fun out together, doing something active and enjoying it. How's that feel? It's family. It's wonderful. <laughs> this is what I wanted. When we were playing soccer, it made me feel excited that we got to spend special time. We've seen constant clock in, clock out, clock in, clock out. It's about together, spending time together and having fun with your children. And that's what they're seeing today. 
all said and done, this family were making good progress forward. And so I felt it was a realistic time to leave them on their own. Come on, hurry, let's get up, hurry. That's good, it's good stuff, it's good stuff. Um, I don't know about the football skills, maybe you could work on that, but you know, it's good. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared to have Joe gone. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to do this on my own. But I just had to keep thinking about the basics and the things that she taught us and being consistent. For me, it's going to be really interesting just to see how they get on without me around. When I left the Swansons, we're on the right track and moving forward. But I am a bit worried that they may start to revert back. So let's take a look. Ready? Yeah. Sure. I'm ready. Yes. <sighs> you ready? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> 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 so heavy too. It's fun though, it's fun. No. See, that's the kind of stuff they like, yeah. right? <laughs> you know, you've got five boys there, they want to rough and tumble. They like to do it. So remember, there have got to be a lot of times when not everything's regimented. Who knows what this game is? Yeah. Christian. Spin. What is that? Yeah, it's a three. OK, you going to help me count? One. Two. Three. Rock on. All right. It's kind of good, right? So far. <laughs> I did very well with regards to getting them all together and sitting down playing a board game, which I was very pleased to see Ken. So today I want to get the house cleaned up. I would like to go and get baskets for the kids' rooms. Their own basket of toys, that's their toys. Can I give you another update, too, while you're out? Christian's gotten a warning for sitting on a table. Alexander's gotten a warning for pulling toys away from people. And Mike has got a warning because he swung the snake in. I love the way you were communicating about what needed to happen during the day, because that allows you both to be on the same page. That was good. All right. Sneaker. <laughs> OK, that is unacceptable behavior. This is your warning. This is inappropriate behavior for you to not listen to mommy. This is unacceptable behavior. This is inappropriate behavior. So that is inappropriate behavior. That is unacceptable. This is inappropriate behavior. That is unacceptable. That's inappropriate. That's your warning. There's never any explanation about why. I want you in the naughty corner. I think we need to take a trip to the naughty corner. I want you to step away from the table and in the naughty corner, please. I want you to go in the na naughty corner. <laughs> No, 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 no. This behavior is unacceptable. That's not acceptable. We were supposed to be laying down and taking our naps. Next thing you know, there's a laugh and screaming, giggling, instead of laying down and being calm. <laughs> I am putting you in this naughty corner. <laughs> I am putting you in this naughty corner because this behavior is unacceptable. Brendan, stay right there. <laughs> What do you think of that piece of footage we just saw? It's pretty bad. As my kids didn't learn anything, and I obviously wasn't learning anything. Oh, they did learn something. They did learn. They learned that when we laughed and had fun in the bedroom, we got put in the naughty corner. Straight away, you want to put them in the naughty corner. It's being overused and abused. What does it teach them if you just put them in the corner? Yeah. And I think this just reaffirms a lot of things. I'm recognizing a lot of patterns in my behavior that, that I wasn't or refusing to recognize before. You're on the first steps of a, of a long journey. You really are. You're beginning to become aware of how you're behaving. We have seen some good stuff. I'm going to be here with the pair of you, really tweaking some of the stuff that we need to get underneath our belts. Any questions? I don't think so. Right, OK. So let's carry on and do some more work, then. OK.
A big problem in this house is that the boys wreck each other's toys. So the other day before I left, I gave them an exercise to trust each other with their toys. Let's see how they got on. I wonder if they found some trust. Alex, who had yours? Christian. Christian. OK. And what happened? Did it break or is it safe? Safe. All right. OK, well done, Christian. Now, Brendan, what was you given to look after? Booba. Booba. And where is that? <laughs> Yay! OK, well done, Brendan. I'm very proud at how well they did. I wasn't expecting it to go as well, but they were proud of themselves. Hey! All right. OK, well done, Christian. Way to go. All right. Christian made me feel proud that I actually trusted him. I like it, Alex. It was amazing. Who would have thought that five brothers were sharing for the first time? Well done, well done all of you. Very proud to see. We're going to do an exercise course. I had one final activity for the family that would really incorporate a lot of teamwork. But really what I wanted to do was to pair up Alex and Kane. And what this is going to take is teamwork and coordination and communication. When I first arrived, Ken and Alex were hardly talking to one another. And I hoped that this game would show them just how far they'd come together. What would be good to see is you working with Dad. Okay. When Joe told Alexander that he was going to be my partner, his face just lit up, and it was precious, because two weeks ago, both of us been like, oh, crap. So let's go and have some fun and uh, right. put that in place. All right. Once they'd completed the course, they would have an envelope to open that would have a special message for them to put together. On your marks. Go. OK, keep it there. Oh, together, together. <laughs> it was neat to see Ken and Alexander working together and being excited and working on that relationship between them. All right, now we got to take this off. Left. Ready? Put one pack on. <laughs> Left. Nice and easy. All right. Here we go. Nice and easy. Yeah. I do love my dad. He's a really good dad. Oh. What is it? Oh. Keep going, keep pulling. Very good, Christian. Okay, so what do we have? There we go. That's it. Almost done. Oh. It's a yes. big heart. Look what it was like. Alexander took the heart and just kind of trashed it. And I said, this is how our family used to be. And then he put it back together. And it's a big heart with family on it. And I said, this is how it is now. One big heart of a family. You can't say it any better than that. The Swansons were really feeling the family that they wanted to be, which was great. But for Naya, still had one issue that she wanted to take care of at the end of the day. How can Ken trust me when I have this over his head? And how can I build that trust with him? And so this is a step of having him be able to trust me and, and know how committed I am. At the Swanson household, so. Vanya has some major news for the whole family. Yesterday, I had gone to the courthouse. And I filed for the papers to have this divorce dismissed. And this is the paper. I want to see. I never knew what it was. Mm. I'm real, real proud of you, Mom. We're all proud of Mama. I needed to give Ken a sense of hope, a sense of security with me, and our marriage and where we're going. And so I decided that, you know what, it was time for me to drop the divorce and and work as hard as we possibly can to make things work. Out of you too, Alexander. I love you. You know your mama hugs too? There you go. All right. Come here. <laughs> When I found out that Benaya had actually dissolved the petition for divorce, there was just so much emotions flooding in. Because every day, I've woken up for the last six and a half months knowing that 
today could be the day. And there is just an uneasiness that is gone now for me. Uh, as you feel, Alex. <laughs> Good. This family had made great strides in moving forward, and so I knew it was time for me to move on. Thank you. Give me a hug and kiss. Oh, thank you. I was joking, stay. I wish you could stay here forever. Ah, oh, the half of me. Okay. Thank you very much. And you cut it out. Oh. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank uh -huh. you. Mm. Very much. I have had fun with Joey this past week. You know, when I first walked in here, there was a lot of mayhem. And the one thing that I feel has come out of this is a lot of personal growth between the pair of you and a lot of steps forward. Wow. A lot of steps forward. So thank you for allowing me into your home. Thank you for coming. Joe, I, I cannot express to you how much you're coming to my house meant and just know that you brought a family closer together today. We're not going anywhere and we're only going to be stronger. There are not words that can describe the confidence that I'm having as a parent, the changes we're seeing in the kids, the changes I'm seeing in my husband. Just thank you. Take care. I feel really proud of Ken and Vanaya because they've worked really hard together. They've made a choice to stay together, and they're working hard every day in having the family that they want. Good job. You're learning. All right, now we got to drop the car. I was really shocked at how much how many opportunities I missed. I mean, there's so much more I could show them and so much more I want to show them. I'm enjoying it, and I'm enjoying being around them a lot more. Oh, <laughs> high five! Way to go! Ken and I are talking about everything together, and it's completely different. Thank you. The peace that I've had around my house, I'm not afraid to come in the house. I want to play the games. I want to have the fun time. And it starts with everybody getting along. Let's have fun. All right, first person okay. falls in, got to eat a worm. Now we're going to do a lot more stuff together as a family. Dad, I got a big one. Yeah, you do. One big family. We got one. We got one. I miss JoJo. We have dreams. We have goals. We have, I mean, we have a hope for the future. And that did not exist. OK, can you roll, reel it in? And then can you cast, or you want my cast? I want you. I think every child that has a parent should spend more time with them. I have learned to enjoy my family, learned to you know, appreciate my sons for who they are and what they want and the things that they need. And I have so much hope for the future that uh, I, I see my family getting back to what I envisioned a family always to be.